In this video, I will answer a question from Jesus. Jesus writes, Hello, sir. Can you explain how you use Google Academics for referencing? Well, Jesus, I will quickly answer this question. Now, if you can see, I have already opened my Google Academics. I use the Chrome, right? I use the Google Chrome to do my research. So you can type Google Academics on your browser and you can click on the first option. Usually it, it uh, appears as the first option of your search engine. Now, what you really need to do now is to put the title of your article or that article that you want to reference. It must not be an article. It could be a book. It could be any other academic document. So I'm going to do a, a random research. I'm going to maybe type something about robotics, robotics. Okay, since I want to uh, look for an article, let's try to specify article robotics. So I will have many options usually. And uh, let's look for, let's say, let's go for the first option. That is the evolution of robotics. It's a research. And usually it takes you to the page of that article. Okay, so you can maybe confirm by visiting the, the publishing page. Okay, but uh, here on the Google Academics, we have access to save that document. We can also cite that document. We can also what uh, see the number of citations. We can also see related articles and you can see the versions of that article. Now, the Google Academics give, gives you option to your research. Maybe if you are in a Spanish speaking country, you have the option to, to search in Spanish. OK, if you are in a French or let's say an English speaking country, you also have that uh, option. So you can restrict the, the research or the, let's say the, uh, the, the span of that search. Okay. You can limit the search engine by putting, you know, some limitations. Let, let me show you that, how to do that. For instance, when you come here, that's the first page of the Google academics, um, you have options. So you, if you can see this first option is en qualquer idioma in Portuguese, that is in any language. So I can search something in French here and it's going to give me an answer or I can restrict it to Portuguese. So if I restrict it, I'm going to type something. It will give me exclusively in Portuguese language. Okay. So let's go back to our search. We were looking about, we're trying to search about the evolution of robotics and uh, we can save the article but what if we are interested in that is knowing how to cite the article let's click on sitar now you can see we have options the first is mla the second is nbr that's 6023 and the third is apa i usually write in apa standard okay what do i do i copy and paste it i will open usually leave uh, let's say a word or a, a note uh, file open. So I will copy and then transfer it. In case you want to save it in BeepTex or EndNote or Raftman, uh, whatever it is, it gives you a little bit of work. You need to go there and then reconfigure them and rearrange them. So I think it's easier if you just copy and then paste it right from uh, from here. So uh, um, a bonus information is this. In Brazil, there is what you call ABNT. ABNT, let's look at what is ABNT. Let me open another bar here, a search engine. So I'm going to put ABNT. So ABNT according to wikipedia i think this is wikipedia right 
okay they have a website so according to the website of the rbnt it says the brazilian technical standard association usually rendered in portuguese as Associação Brasileira de Normas Técnicas is a private non-profit organization and the normative body which is responsible for technical standards in Brazil and tends to promote technical development in the country. Basically, ABNT set the standards for documents, articles, uh, thesis, dissertations, and everything. So lines, paragraphs, borders, spacings, you know, uh, numbering, re referencing, everything, the ABNT sets the standards, okay? So what you will do, maybe uh, as a form of curiosity, while you are trying to process your coming to Brazil, you can take a look at ABNT. We have many documents elaborated that can, you know, help you to understand the concept, okay, so that you can standardize your document. Now, when you are coming to Brazil, I believe that maybe if you are forwarding your application, they will understand that you have your own standard. But all around the world, the standards are not very different, okay? That's the spacing, the, uh, the numbering, you know, most of the standards are similar. So uh, maybe if it's strange, uh, maybe let's say different from RBNT, they might understand that uh, this guy is not coming from, not writing from because he is not from Brazil. So they might understand you. But since you are coming here, one way or the other, you will have to know the RBNT. So it's just like a bonus, you know, so that uh, you can study a little bit about it in case you decide to apply it in this uh, let's say process, uh, selective process okay you can feel free to do so uh, most especially in the spacing and also in uh, you know how do you set your paragraphs I think it's very important that you get that correctly okay while you do uh, your application process so I'm going to leave a link with a document that can help you with the RBNT standards okay and uh, see you in the next video